Hey guys, my name is City Egg and welcome back to Fool's Town here in City Skylines. Guys, last episode we built our very own little zoo. It was a great success. We're getting quite a few customers right now, quite a few visitors. And we're starting to kind of complete all of the kind of little mini challenges with inside of it to get to like a, which I'm going to consider like a five star zoo to get us all the cash money, Moolah. Uh, that little, that little um, highway there looks like a little bit of a traffic jam, which doesn't look too good, does it? Uh, today, guys, we want to try and focus on building our oil industry area, getting it all set up, all working, probably create a little small town attached to it like we did to the farming area. It's like a little like town outside of the main city, uh, you know, for that specific type of industry. You get that in real places uh, where like towns are built up on an industry and then many years later the industry collapses or kind of like closes down and then the town is just there and it's like a deadbeat town. Many of those exist. We're trying to create one today. So if you're enjoying it, guys, make sure you smash that like button down below. And if you are new in here, make sure that you do subscribe to never miss another City Skyline video in the future. But we're here. Where was that traffic jam we're seeing? It? It's it's hit. Where has this come from? Why is this all of a sudden just gone? You know what? Traffic traffic jam for days, guys. Traffic jam for days. I wonder why. It's me. I mean, it's not bad. It's, it's kind of filtering through just nicely, but it just kind of come out of nowhere, isn't it? It's not because they've built, like, recently this huge commercial zone. Probably, maybe, I don't know. We've also got the IT cluster over here, which is almost fully... Do you know what? It's not far off being fully complete, too. So here is our beautiful zoo that we built last episode. It needs some garbage uh, disposal thingy-majigs. Is that the truck? That's not the truck, Seniac. Damn fool. Uh, so, when I build this new area, I might drop a new garbage kind of air, like um, plant down, which will kind of benefit both these guys here. That's what I want to try and do. So, I'm going to pause at the moment, as what I'm going to do first is set up the grid for where the oil is going to be. Or the oil plant, should I say. So, what I do, I'll have a road running straight down like this to kind of benefit. I'll go to about We'll go, no, we'll, go, we'll start here, then work our way up, and we'll bring it to there. So that's how I'm going to base off this whole oil industry grid now. So if I bring it to here, straight up as far as I can take it, keeping that grid format in. And then this one here, we'll bring it to there, and drop it down. So this then should slide through the middle. We're going, to create, we're going to create this grid. It's quite a big setup that we're going to have. It's not going to be a beautiful place. If you do live here, you're not going to want to live here for long. It will be a terrible place to bring up kids. It's not a great area. And then we'll do a slightly larger one going through the center there. Right, and that is the grid for the oil industry. That is what we're going to have. We'll make it try and look a little bit better than what it does look like now, right now. But that's the, the main gist of it. That is the main gist of it. So for the town coming off it then, I want to build uh, the, this kind of road here. Because in some form, I want it to look okay. Uh, we'll have a road, if I just kind of create this here now for a second. And then have it stick out by two and go... We'll just do it for there for now. That's what is going to be, get rid of that, the main inlet road. So what we'll have is then a road connecting there and a road connecting there. Road connecting there and a road connecting there. So they're going to be the four main connections to the oil industry. Okay, so this road then, let's bring it up. To here, and then we've got to create the filter now. So, traffic coming in, traffic going out. As simple as that. Now, we're going to have a high demand of traffic for trucks going down here and doing the right turn and going down that way. We may, now we may create something that comes out like that, but it depends on how much demand this is going to take up. We'll see. Do you know what? Because I already know it's going to slightly happen. What I'll do. 
I'll do that. Which, that's, you know, is going to be only 100% used for... Let's do the restrictions. Which is the restrictions one? Clear traffic? No. I always forget which is the restrictions one. No, it's not the one. Vehicle restrictions. So if I get rid of that, that, that... No, we keep that in SOS. So, it, okay. That's solely going to be used by trucks. To, as, as an inlet. So no car should use that as a road. Right, it should be good. Okay, so then I want to create, like how we did over here, a small little town built off it. Now we do a little bit of commercial down these main, like, kind of road there. And then, just coming off it now then. I want to try and get... It's probably as good as we're going to get it, like that. And then bring it down to about here. It's not going to be a huge place, but if I just create, like, the main loop and traffic and like main grid setup then I'm going to do little spikes come up like little cool de sacks and whatnot so we do stuff like this little cool de sack comes off there there Like that, another one here. As if the town is start is like spiraling slightly, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um how does that look? It looks it looks very decent. Right, we'll do like a little connection here as well. Try and keep it off the main filter roads in. Alright, that could be good. I do want to peer too. Going in both directions. And then we could do one there. One there for the industry. That's going to be our, our little town. We'll see how, how well the traffic blends with this then. We'll see how well this blends. So what we're gonna do then, we're gonna create two industries or two like zoning areas. So the first one is gonna be obviously for, let me just get rid of to there, for the oil industry. There we go. And then this one here is gonna be our little town that we are now creating to supplement the workers for it and also create another uneducated area of residents. Bedford Park versus Granite Heights. We've got Bedford Park, we've got Bedford District there. It's actually quite fitted for both of the little town names. I do like it. Okay, so we need to hook up the water then. So we need to get the water supply up and running. There we go. Now we try our best now to maximize the area of placing the water down. There we go. Okay, so zoning then, we need to first tell this area it's going to be oil industry only. Boom. Which it is oil, isn't it? Hold on, it is oil. Uh, where do I do the resources? Yes, it is oil. Good. Okay, so industry then. We'll first centralize Oop, the whole area. There we go. And then we'll do some low commercial here. And then we'll kind of slightly run it up as well. So just keeping off that little road there kind of keeps all to that area. And then we'll do the same to the top. Nice. And then all this here, I'll just do the, the inside for now, is going to be low residential. And we'll see how that flies then. We'll see how much is going to get built up for it, how much is going to try and actually try and build it up. And we're going to see the huge traffic jams that get caused from this new area, which is going to be hilarious. 
Worst comes to worst, I could always get rid of that there and filter that into this highway. I could always do that. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens, guys. Now, they're going to need power at some point. So we let it go what it does. I want to see what this is now. Is this almost free? No, we, almost, we need another thousand visitors to get to the free star level. Okay, okay, okay. So, in terms of power, because it's going to be quite a dirty area, should I go with some dirty power? Maybe like a oil plant? Drop this down like there. Boom. It is an oil plant being powered by the oil that's being produced. It makes sense, doesn't it? It, it really does make sense, that kind of area. Right, so it's going to need some good connections. We could transform the bus route that's going over here and the rail. Just by linking paths over to that area, they can walk to and from. But we'll see how things go. We will see how things go. Right, so the oil is now starting to come in slowly. Red is, residents are also trying to come in. Commercials being built. It'll just take some time for it actually to all get done. What's my public transport levels like now? It's a 3,600. The most used one is now back to the buses. So it was the, the underground subway system at one point. Now it's back to the buses. Interesting. Very interesting. So. We want to handle crime, fire, and garbage. And I did say I was going to get this set up in this area. So we'll handle the garbage first. We'll go for a large recycling plant. I can squeeze one in, kind of, I'll just squeeze one in at the back here, this is kind of slightly out of the way, which should be able now to, once it's set up, be for these areas, if it would like to get to them areas. Not much it's got to do anyway in terms of work. Um, policing them. So we have a little bit of policing coming down here, so we don't need like a, a dramatically big, no this is fire, sorry. We don't need a dramatically big firehouse. So I'm going to place this little tiny small one. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll slide it in like... Where should I slide it in? Like up here maybe, there. And then police him. Yeah, we'll just go for a small police department up there. Well, that should be good for those areas. They should like it. They should love it. We got the power up in here too. It's all Gucci. We just got to take some time for it to slowly start to get built. So, while it does that then, let's think about transport. So, what I'll do then, we'll work with like the path first. Uh, park path, what's all this? Decoration park path, amusement park, uh, nature reserve. No, we just want standard path. Um... Okay, so what we're doing, we'll create a couple of, like, connections that go over. So if I do that... Right, let's bring it down by a little bit there. So one there. We'll do... One there. And we'll do one over here too. So three main bridges that are going to carry people over to the new area. Okay, so we need to bring it down then. Now run this all the way across to there. Connect it up. Run it all the way across down to here. Connect it up. There we go. Beautiful. And then, if I can... Hook up a path there. I need to get my get rid of the auto snapping. One there. And then we just run this all the way through. As path connects. And then one down here. Right, all good stuff. It's connected on that one side. Now I need to do the same over here too. So we'll bring it down first. Let's put the uh, snapping grid on. So it will end there. 
And then I want to be able to run it down. So it's going to stop there. We'll bring it in. There we go. So that one. Ooh, now we get connected to the road over here. Right, I just want to take my snapping grid off. And we're going to do our own thing right now. Right there to there. To there. We'll also connect that over to there. So they can all walk through it. Create a connection there. Create the connection there. This one can go to here. This one can go to here. So they're connected now from both sides. Will many people use them? I don't know. It's one of those things you just got to see and watch out. It's more interesting to see when they get off the buses in this area over here and the train stop over there. Will they walk all the way over? I don't know if it's too far for them. It's just one of those things. It's trial and error. We'll just see what happens. And see what and then just yeah, just literally see what happens. What's the traffic like then? The traffic's now coming in. Trucks are using this as the import, so it will stop the amount of build up in these areas. Which the traffic flow is fine right now, but then again we're not fully up and running. Are we to be honest? We're not fully up and running. Alright, we got one person walking across the bridge now. Hello. Was that a few of us? Yeah, a few of us now making their way over. Interesting. Where are the bus stops in this in this section? So there's one there. And there's one there. So that's the closest one. They might use that bus stop to walk over. Which would be quite interesting. I could always set up a bus route here, but I'm just trying to like, you know, I want I want to maximize some of the current routes. It's not that far to walk, but you know. It is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. Okay, then. So, where are we at this uh, this zoo? Ooh, nearly at the next level. Nearly a three-star zoo. That's going to be pretty dope, isn't it? What's the uh, IT cluster like right now? We're literally borderline almost there. There's a few little areas, like, up the top there. We are so close to that getting done. Commercial's looking good. The commercial zone over there is all pretty much set up. The place is screaming for more commercial. Which we have the demand here. So... And we got the gaps. So fill it up, fools. Fill it up. Yeah, that's it. Is there any commercial in here? There is some commercial over there, too. Which is pretty good. All industries now come along quite nice. Just take some time to get everything built in. It really does. Right, so should we zone a few more little areas now? Now things are starting to come in. Right, let's do that now. You know, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for every area now. Every area for residential is now zoned. Right, people using them. Yeah, there's a couple of dudes there walking up. This will be the main bridge used as people come to and from. Which, where is the bus stop over here again? It's just here. That's going to be a heavily used bus stop, isn't it? In the farming area. <laughs> what about this one? It, no, that one's not being used much. But, yeah, that's going to be the main one. The main one. I like it. Right. Things are looking good, then. The oil industry is booming. Meaning that I'm hoping that they... Has this solved the traffic down here? Yeah, it's kind of disappeared, but there's more coming in. Damn, this is a high traffic area. It is, isn't it? Um, so, yeah. Okay. Right. Um, what was I going to say now? That was it, yeah. So, I'm hoping with this new oil industry that we don't put too much demand on, for example, stuff like uh, the dock areas. I'm, I'm really hoping they use the train yard more often. Because this is something that doesn't get used, again, as often. And I really wish they would. This, the zoo is screaming out for garbage disposal again. What if I drop the one here? Does that correspond to them needs? Slightly-ish. 
I really don't want to put like one near. But I may have to. Not, we'll drop on there. It's in the parking lot. Oh, these, they're actually parking their cars here now, which is, I find that hilarious. Well, that's got a truck there. They're complaining about police now. Where's the nearest police? Oh, do you not have any over here? We don't. Okay, we'll set one over here then. It's a little small one there. Should satisfy those guys. This needs a little bit of water. Right, the zoo should be fine. I want the zoo to, to be comfortable. I need the peeps to be there. This is such a heavy to traffic area. And the cargo stuff doesn't get used that often, to be honest. I've got this bridge bringing people to and from to stop, you know, reduce the amount of cars coming in. But it's not going to do much, is it? Not going to do much. But well, how's this area getting this sort of there? With more residential coming in. We got a we got a huge demand for commercial. Then bridges being used, yes. This bridge being used, yeah. Then bridges being used more and more now, which is quite cool. So let's finish up this area then with commercial. Then I want to slightly get the remaining stuff in. So I just want to try and maximise what I've currently got and the spaces. So before we place anything down, of course, we've got to do the little walkways so they can get to and from these new areas, walking. There we go. There's a slight gap there, so I'll take advantage of it. Have we got the piping in? Yep. So now we can freely drop in all of the commercial. Right, is paint book at all easier? Yeah. Alright, get all this in. And then hopefully the, the commercial demand will then drop, which will then increase the residential and industry demand, which then obviously then increases the build rates of this area over here. Now, traffic. Traffic is still optimal. It's not that crazy is it i mean we have a few little issues here as traffic goes out but we could do some something cool not clear traffic which is no um junction restrictions no um we say give way here Which keeps it all flowing nicely, to be honest, doesn't it? But it's not like we had issues anyway. It's not like we had any like issues <laughs> anyway for that area, which is hilarious. Um, they still using this bridge? Yeah. What's that bus like? No, that bus route. A few people come off. A few people get on. Nice. Where are they mainly going to and from then? I bet you they're walking. They're walking straight up. I'm trying to... Wow! Look at that huge amount of people. They've come off the train. They've literally came off the train, haven't they? And they're making their way down this area. So they are taking advantage of the train. Quite dramatically. Yeah, quite dramatically. Um, right. I'm just going through this now. I just want to take a quick look at things. Uh, transport then. What's this? Cable cars. Uh, that, is that what's that? The monorail, planes, boats. There's a lot of transport that we don't currently have in at the moment. Tours as well. Hot air balloon rides. I do know there's the um, where is it? Planes. The the blimp. We get some blimps in, couldn't we? That's a lot of people getting off the train coming into this area. How could we make their life easier? Okay, more people coming now. That's going to be such a heavily used area now. 316 people coming through it. Which is good because the more people use it, benefits us, obviously. So it's all good. How far is that commercial area done? Right, it's slowly getting there. 
I'm so surprised that we don't have any major traffic issues because this is like every time I build a city, I was. I mean, we got the art. I'm complaining at stuff like this. You know, is the traffic flowing? Yes, it is. So I can't moan, can I? But do you know what I mean? Like I've never built a city that traffic flows this well. It's weird. Very weird. It's also weird that these IT classes don't form a lot of traffic as well. Which is, I also find that another weird thing. Uh, I'm going to create now the loop for this. So let's set this little loop up then. Alright, there we go. And let's get the move it tool to fix its imperfections. Right, I'm happy with that. And then bring this back out then, so. Create that like that. Right, sweet bad. And then we'll create them. A little oval loop. Do the same on this side. There we go. Right, sweet. That's over there then. So we're going to run this along now. Yes. I connect straight up to there. I'll do all the, connect the like, little basic connections in just a moment. I want to get this to run along. So I run it down. Oh, there we go. Now we're going to freeform everything. So we start first here. Let me demolish that quickly. It's a very weird setup there, there, isn't it? There we go. Uh, we'll have this connection come into here. Well, that's all good. We'll have then one up here. And every junction will connect one in. This could be the reason why my traffic is not as bad as it normally is. Because I don't normally go so over the top when it comes to creating path like this. So this could be a good thing. Right, we'll do one here too. Then we create the connection there, which I didn't do it close enough. There we go. And then where's the next? That's actually all good, isn't it? Right, we'll keep it like that. Right. They should start heavily using that area then. Perfect. Right. Now we spent some time doing that. Uh, let's take a look at this then. Where, where are we coming along? Have we got the hordes of people coming through? Yeah. <laughs> it's hilarious, man. I love it. I absolutely love it. We should actually make it a little bit easier for these guys too. Like, create the path like that. So rather than going diagonal, it's just straight up. Easier, isn't it? Just straight up, guys. Straight up. Okay, so looking pretty dope then. What's the traffic issues like down here? Again, stop. There's no issues in here. Stop looking at it. Right, commercial is pretty much all built in there. Which raises slight demands for residential, of course. And uh, industrial, of course. Which we are slowly, but surely, we are getting there. Uh, let's 
fix then the remainder of the areas where I want this oil area to be. There we go. All right, sweet mate. Not bad, is it? It's not bad. Okay. Right. I think we're pretty much done for today then. So, a lot of people are using these walkways here. Let me know what, what I should do. Okay, they still like to choose and favor this diagonal route. Not sure why. Do they feel like that's the quicker option? Do they feel like it's quicker to walk down here and here than it is to walk that there? Is that what they're trying to do? What if I did... That. Will they choose that instead? Oh no, that dude's going solo! He's a solo rider! How many people are using this now? Up to 469. We've got to have boosted our train transport. Just from that, haven't we? I mean, it's at 1,200. We're up to 4,000 people using public transport now. Which was a lot lower. So we've actually got more and more people to start using it, which is a good thing. So things are progressing. Guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. We are now a three-star zoo, pushing our way up to a four-star zoo. We're slowly getting there. We're still lo losing money, but you know what? Don't even care, mate. It's dope. It's a dope zoo. I like it. So until next time, guys, I'll see you all soon. So good. Bye. <laughs>